Sincerely Grace. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the classic Chanel wallet on the chain and the Saint Laurent envelope wallet. For some reason, I cannot say that word. I recorded this intro three times, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get started. So first I want to start off with the Saint Laurent envelope chain wallet. Um, I've had this for about three years and well actually maybe not. I think I've had this one probably for about two years now because I've had the Chanel walk for three years. Um, so yes, I've had this for about two years now and um, I've definitely gotten some use out of it. So this is like I said, the Saint Laurent envelope chain wallet. And this is in the green leather, and this actually comes in two sizes. This is a smaller size. So this one is, um, I don't even know how, how big it is, the measurements. I probably should have got that for you, but it's definitely the smallest size. They do have a slightly bigger size, but you're not able to fit as much inside. So I decided to get the smaller version. So let me show you what it looks like. So inside, it does come with a zipper compartment here. And then this is all open. And that's the reason why I decided to get this one as opposed to the other one. The other one is more so a wallet on a chain, like literally a wallet on a chain. There's no room in my opinion to put anything. It's mainly just a bunch of, it's mainly just a bunch of card slots and I knew that that was not going to work. So the reason why I wanted to get um, this purse was because I wanted to have a carefree bag that I can wear, for example, if I wanted to go to a concert or if I wanted to go out to an amusement park. I wanted something that was small but I could still carry all my essentials and this one is definitely it. Um, so like I said, this does have a, a zipper here. It has a total of six card compartments. So it still has card spots in this purse. Um, it has a back purse here, back purse, a back, back spot here, and then also all of this is open. So this definitely fits my wallet if I needed to, my sunglasses and my phone, and maybe like a lip balm or lip gloss, which is basically all that I need. So I decided to go with this option as opposed to another crossbody bag, very similar to this in this color for two reasons. One, I think the price point for this is amazing, amazing, because Saint Laurent is definitely a well-recognized brand. Um, I believe it's a little bit more luxury than other brands and you still get it for a really good price. So this retails for $1,350, which I believe is a really good price point for a crossbody bag. And the reason why I decided to go with this as opposed to a Chanel is because of the price point. I mean, to be honest, you can't go wrong with $1,300 versus what a Chanel walk is. Um, now, I did decide to go with this one because this color to me looks a lot better with the YSL logo as opposed to the Chanel walk. Now, let me, let me show you guys my Chanel walk. So, this is my Chanel walk and I've had this, like I said, for about three years. And the reason why I purchased this is one, I had always wanted a Chanel. Was this my first Chanel purchase? No, this is my second Chanel purchase. Yes, this is my second Chanel purchase. And I had always wanted a Chanel walk, always. I never actually had seen it in person, so one day I decided to go into the store, into the boutique. I actually purchased this in um, Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. And I went in asking for this. They didn't have it there. They showed me um, a different color, but same exact style. And they shipped this from Hawaii to my home. 
which I was very thankful that the sales associate was able to do so because I do understand that this combination is kind of hard to get. So this is the Chanel lock in the classic um, quilted print. And this is the caviar leather with gold hardware. And this is basically the same style as my um, YSL. So it does come with um, some room here. It does come with six card slots. It also has a zipper here and it has a zipper up here, which I've never had to use this zipper here. I believe it goes all, yeah, it goes all the way through, but I've never actually put anything in there. Now, I knew that I always wanted a classic Chanel walk. Um, I gifted this to myself after I had my daughter. Um, I definitely knew that I wanted to get something for myself, so this is very near and dear to me because I purchased it a couple of months after I had my daughter and I could not be happier with it. Now, the reason why I bought it is because I wanted a bag that I can utilize whenever I go out with my family. Um, I know I needed to be more on the carefree side um, with my hands free but I still wanted to be fashionable. I still wanted to have something that's nice even though I'm a mom. <laughs> now I, I know that sounds kind of, I don't know, not that moms can't be cool, but you know what I mean? So yes, this, this definitely means a lot to me. So I know that I will never get rid of it. I definitely plan to save this for my daughter I always tell my husband, oh gosh, I wish my mom was into purses just as much as I am because I'm going to be gifting all of these purses to her. And but anyways, um, so yeah, this, this bag was my first, I guess, wallet on a chain that I purchased. And I fell in love with the concept, the purse, the how carefree you are, like hands-free, but yet it's still big enough to hold everything that you need and it's still fashion, fashionable enough, if you know what I mean. Um, so whenever I purchased this for a while, I was wearing a lot of black and to be honest, it was right after I had my daughter, I wanted to kind of hide the, the baby weight until I got back down to my normal size. So I opted out for a black purse. Now after I had worn this for a while, I realized that I needed a, a different color just because I use this a lot, um, especially whenever we go out on like a family event. I've taken this to Disneyland, I want to say three times already. And I knew that I needed another color. I can't always just wear black. Um, even though this is a very iconic bag. So that's whenever I decided to look for another one. Now, I knew I didn't want to spend as much as I spent with this bag. Now, just in case if you're curious, this bag retails for $2,500 currently. Whenever I bought it, back whenever my daughter was born, it retailed for $2,000, was it $2,000 or $2,200? I think it retailed for $2,000 thousand I'd have to look up in my receipt but it was either two thousand or two thousand two hundred and I knew that I didn't want to see the same um, I didn't want to spend the same amount as I did with this one so I started searching other options and that's when I found so that's whenever I decided to go with the Saint Laurent wallet on a chain because it has this almost same exact um, design as the Chanel wallet on a chain but for a fraction of the price. So my suggestion to you is definitely see what fits into your budget. Um, for my second time around I knew that I didn't want to spend as much as I spent on my um, Chanel walk and then at the time whenever I was searching I believe it had already gone up $200 and I was like no that's a little bit too much for another color. So I opted out for the Saint Laurent um, wallet on a chain and I couldn't be happier. To tell you the truth, I mean, you can't go wrong with both. I do believe that um, your collection should be something that should sustain the test of time. 
Um, at least for me, that's what I do. I don't like to, t to buy trendy bags. That's something that I don't typically do. If I do, I buy more on the lower end side just because I'm very frugal with my money um, and I like to keep items that I know will stand the test of time. And these two have been around for a really long time and I know they for sure will stand the test of time. So that is all for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my point of view and my review on both of these bags. I truly enjoy making these videos. Um, I love talking about luxury. So if you enjoy luxury just as much as I do, please subscribe and definitely give this a thumbs up. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.